Hey Luke, uh, congratulations on the season so far. What, what are your thoughts about how you guys have played up to this point? Uh, I'm really proud of our team. I'm proud of everybody. We've all worked our butts off all right. season long. And uh, now, it's, now it's big big boy football. We've been saying it all week and we're going to continue saying it. Um, we're just going to keep playing, but I'm, I'm so proud of how everyone's worked. It's crazy. And it's something you've looked forward to all year. You, you kind of knew you were going to be in this position, given the talent and the expectations. But now you're going into an open division where, like like uh, Charlie was saying, that maybe not too many people are think you're giving it a chance against the Phoenix Bulls. So what, what are your thoughts about that, going into an open division like this? Um, my thoughts on that, uh, no one's going to give us a chance. No one's going to say we're going to come on top. You know, it's always said they're the Phoenix is the big brother, Tucson's the little brother. We're going to change that. Tucson is not little brother. You know, right. it's anyone can win. Just whoever plays harder, and I think we're going to play harder. Right. And watching your defense this year, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, doubt you guys at all. Not only are you guys putting up some good numbers, the the way you guys play, that aggressiveness, that is that from a coach or how, where do you guys get that kind of a tough, that tough style of play? You know, I think, I think it's just all of us playing together. You know, yeah. we got, I think uh, these two, Coach Garrett, our uh, strength coach, she's really put Carla, a lot of, yeah. yeah, put a lot of rage into us. You know, in a good way. Right. And. Uh, you know, all of our coaches, all of our defensive coaches, you know, get us ready to roll. And I think after that, it's all, we just come together, we're all together, and we are playing. It's everyone. It's everyone. Right. And you, like I could talk to Charlie about, you guys have grown up together, or you played football since your freshman year together, right? Yes, sir. So what kind of bond is that between all you guys? It's unbreakable. Yeah. It can never be broken, you know. It's, I'll always have their back, and I know they'll always have mine. And I think that's why we play the way we do, is because we know we're all together in it. Right. And the, the added to that is the fact that this is Coach Benet's last last uh, rodeo. I would say. Yeah. say. What, what, are you, what are your thoughts about that? About you know rallying around him and making him go out a winner? Um, I, I mean, it couldn't be any better. Like this is the biggest. This is like the biggest high school like football event in history, I think. Um, and you know. Like we're all playing, we're all playing for Coach May. We're we are playing so that he can go out with a bang. And I love Coach May. Like he's always he's always been there in my four years. Even when I was a freshman, he's always been there. You know, like we're all we're all rallying around him and all our other coaches, and we're just gonna go. I mean, it's it's go time. I don't know what to say. Is, is he is he the same the the, the first time you met him as now Coach Benet? Is he not changed at all? Or, or have, have you... I mean, he's always been he's always been the same. He always yeah. been. Team first, right. whatever for the team first. No selfishness, and it's it's great. I love it. Yeah. Now, the, I brought this up to Charlie. You're you're a son of U of A player. Charlie's a son of a former U of A athlete, um, and so is is obviously Trent, right? Uh, you, so, what are your what are your thoughts about that kind of uh, angle, where you guys are all former U, sons of former U of A athletes? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's just <laughs> kind of cool how it all you know boiled down to that. We're all right. you know our parents have all come down and then we're all playing together now like it's been building up since before we were even born you know right and it's kind of crazy i think it's just how the cookie crumbles you know just came all together uh, i heard that you're 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 not into baseball like your dad was is that correct <laughs> no. so and, and you're obviously you're, and you're actually thinking about playing rugby right in yes, college sir. is that right yes, is that sir. is that something you're going to fall through on i think i think it is why what why that why why the rugby angle um you know i played rugby for one year now <laughs> I know it's funny to say that out loud, but I just, I don't know, it seems, it's just always moving, it's always intense, like, yeah. you know, it's no breaks, you know, you're playing both offense and defense in that, and I think it's a great sport, I love it, and honestly, if I got the chance to play both football and rugby in college, I would do it 100%, I, I think, and that's a lot of people's dreams, you know, yeah. double athlete, you know, it's, uh, rugby, I think is amazing. Is that what you're looking to to do? Is, yes. Uh, or what kind of uh, attention have you got from that? Um, you know, I've got... I've got some looks. Uh, I haven't, you know, I haven't really played long enough to get a ton of looks yet. But I've got, you know, a couple, couple club teams here and there, you know, asking to reach out. But it's going well. Good. Well, because obviously you can play football, yeah, and, and you would, you would strike me as somebody that'd be like a safety in college. I don't know if that is what you would think. Uh, so I mean, is that always a possibility that you could play football in college? Oh yes, sir, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Always is. And if I, you know, I think my uh, my dad played a little bit of safety too when he yeah. played in football. So. You know, kind of runs in the family too. <laughs> right. So you grew up obviously around sports, and do you have any siblings at all? Or? I've got 
one younger sister and then two younger brothers, and they all play everything. You know, that's cool. my sister's doing dance, brother's doing football and basketball, and maybe a little baseball. I don't know. Is there something that you've learned from from your dad or from your family that you've applied to your your sport? I've learned that uh, you know, just never give up. Yeah. You know, you can never. And I don't know. It's probably whatever every parent says, but you can never like you can never give up as long as you keep getting up. Like. Right. If somebody is just gonna keep knocking you down, you don't quit. Like you don't quit until you beat them. Right. You just don't quit. And it's like it's hard to find that within yourself to do that. But you know that's something I learned is just to never ever quit, no matter what. Right. And just one last thing, you, you don't have to line up against Bijan in a game, so you're, you're probably thankful about that, right? <laughs> yeah. But what's it like in practice if you had to go full speed? What, what would that be like with uh, going against him? That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be something else. Yeah. It's always, you know, in the beginning of the year, we, I had the, these and I had a couple of times where we just oh, stick really? each other, you know? But, you know, sometimes he'd get me and sometimes I just, you know, hold him up a little bit. But it's, it's, it'd be, it's crazy. It's, Bijan's different. I'm sure you don't, you, you, you don't mind not having to see him, like, carry the ball, like, 15, oh. 20 times against you, right? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind that at all. Okay. All right, well, best of luck against Pinnacle. You know, like I told Charlie, a lot of people are pulling for you guys being, a, being from Tucson. So uh, best of luck to you. We hope you guys go as far as you can all the way. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.